Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Most of us women know all too well the hell of walking in extra high heels, especially if you are in the middle of a field. But when you are Kylie Minogue, there is no need to worry about that. The Aussie singer was carried to the stage ahead of her performance at BST Hyde Park in London by actors Andrew Scott and Jonathan Bailey, who were on hand to give pint-sized Kylie a little lift ahead of her performance. A source said, Kylie was in six inches stilettos and, when you're playing a festival, it's a nightmare. She was carried from her dressing room to the stage by Andrew and Jonathan. Kylie had an arm around each of their necks as they picked her up with her legs hanging over their arms in a seated position. It's a pretty long way, but Kylie is as light as a feather. It gave everyone something to smile about and she was grinning from ear to ear. I bet she was. Backstage, Kylie had hundreds of white roses ordered to make her feel at home. She later dished them out to fans at the front of the stage so they could hold them up while she performed. Guests in her area were also treated to special goodie bags she had made. I'm told each one included a note signed by Kylie and had a bottle of her own rose wine and Prosecco inside. The crowds turned out to the show on Saturday night, including our Jack, to watch as Kylie smashed her way through a brilliant 23-song set list. It featured hits in your eyes, spinning around and get out of my way. Will Young, Joel Edgerton, Alan Carr and, er, Jed Ward were there to see her performance. Backstage, Jack caught up with Kylie, who asked him, Did you like it? We wanted to change it up. What was your favorite part? When Jack told her he adored love at first sight and then revealed it was Kylie's music that helped set him up with his new boyfriend, she said with a grin, See, I've still got it. You certainly have, Kylie. One Republic's Ryan Tedder is no stranger to making a hit, having worked with Taylor Swift, Adele and Alicia Keys. So I'm not surprised to hear British singer Mimi Webb has tapped him up for her second album, due out next year. I'm told the pair first crossed paths at an event last summer and have remained in contact ever since. A source told me, Mimi and Ryan have been in the studio a few times and have recorded a couple of tracks. Right now it's too early to say if they will make the album, but Mimi hopes so. Over the past few weeks, Mimi has been teasing her new track, a breakup anthem called Erase You. This autumn, she will embark on a tour as she supports the Jonas Brothers in Europe and then Sabrina Carpenter in the States. She had plenty of earworms such as House on Fire and Red Flags on her debut, so I'm looking forward to seeing what she does next. When it comes to boyfriends, Madonna she certainly has a type. After splitting from boxer Josh Popper, she was linked to another fighting man, Richard Ryakpour. Now she appears to be getting close to another handsome younger bloke. Madge shared these pictures of her with a mystery man when she celebrated the 4th of July, leaving fans wondering who her next attractive suitor was but I can reveal her new bloke is Jamaican-born footballer Akeem Morris. In the snaps, Madge was seen watching fireworks with him and reclining on a sofa as he put his hand on her chest. Akeem, like Madonna's most recent boyfriends, is under 30, as was former squeezes Andrew Darnell and Alamalik Williams. All power to her, I say. No one bats an eyelid when older guys date younger partners, and why should it be any different for women? If at 65 I'm drawing hot guys rather than my pension, I'd be a happy girl. Charlie XCX will appear in a remake of cult horror film Faces of Death later this year, and now has the acting bug. Away from singing, she said, I would like to flex my creative muscles on other areas. I don't envisage myself making music forever. Maybe I will in some capacity, but I just feel like there are other creative areas I really want to explore. Charlie has a small part in Faces of Death playing a workmate of Barbie Ferreira, who has the lead role. She said, I was a fan of the original movie. I saw that this film was being remade by a director, Daniel Goldhaber. We met and we spoke and he was like, you should be in it. I was like, wow, that's crazy. I really got the bug from that.